play and man, have a bigger impact when I'm on the field just by making more turnovers and things like that. It looks like you've bulked up. Have you gained some weight? <laughs> no, I'm really the same. Just cool 200 pounds. You no, know, trying to keep it because you know we were going. I think what five? I'm gonna say we did five straight practice, so I lost a little weight. So just trying to keep up my weight right now. You look massive. <laughs> Yusuf, you're married now, uh -huh. your father. How does that kind of change your, your perspective if it does at all? Uh, really changed my perspective as in time management. You know, when I'm here, I'm focused on football. When I get home, it's uh, strictly turning to daddy mode. So, you know, I got to put her in the bath, got to make dinner, got to put her to sleep. And so that's my time. Uh, that's While I'm doing that, my wife can kind of chill out because while I'm here, she's there taking care of her. So we have a nice little routine and schedule for her. Any of your teammates give you, give you gruff about being the old married man in, in the locker room? <laughs> uh, a little bit, a little bit, but not too much, though. I mean, they respect me and... Uh, uh, and that's, that's really about it. Oh, yeah. How have, uh, how have you seen Devontae? Is, is he look different this year than, than last year? I feel like he is. I feel like he's more confident. He looks faster out there. And he, he goes right there trying to butt in my interview. But, yeah, he looking, he's looking great out there, making plays. And uh, I feel like he's going to be real good for it this year at that medium nickel safety spot for us. How, what, can you all do just like a bunch of crazy stuff in that in that package since you've got a little bit more DBs to move around? Yeah, we can, especially uh, well, even our backups. I mean, we know the whole defense. I feel comfortable if Jalen's Geiger's out there, Taj Dodson, Ricky Hyatt, Jordan, you know, Moses out there. I mean, I feel like we really know the playbook and we can switch guys around, just not one guy staying at free or one guy staying at strong. I mean, if we really wanted to, especially with the ones, you know, you may see me at nickel one play, you may see D-Rob at free and Ty at strong, and we may just rotate it. So I just feel very confident in our knowledge in the playbook here and for this upcoming season. You said you all have so much better in depth in the secondary. How do you keep those young guys motivated and maybe have to wait their time? Uh, one reason, uh, one thing how we keep everybody motivated is we have this uh, chart that Coach Collins came up with, and it has like effort, MAs, and stuff. So we keep we keep uh, tabs of it. So it's kind of keep us motivated. And, and we have two teams, so whichever team has the most points at the end, uh, probably get a reward or something sort of, I don't know. But it's really just to have the clout, really. So uh, that's how we're going to keep ourselves motivated, you know, especially during this camp when we get today, you know, 12, 13, 14, keep us motivated. Any of those young guys stood out to you? Sure. Say it again. Any of those young guys stood out to you and impressed you? Uh, all of them, really. I mean, Ricky with just him being consistent this year, Moses with his checks, uh, Jordan coming along as a young guy, uh, Taj and Jalen just being more consistent and kind of want to take over that role is when I know as everybody in the secondary seniors this year, we, when we leave, they can kind of take over for us and we won't have any uh, setbacks. Is anybody like going against Coach Cohen's offense? Say it again? What's it like going against Coach Cohen's offense? How can that offense going against that help you there? Oh, your eyes better be right. You know, no looking in the backfield. Don't have your eyes wandering anywhere. So you got to be very per uh, perfection on your craft and just have your eyes right and you don't know what to expect. I mean, one play might be Ryan, they might line up, line up in the same formation, and next thing you know, it's a play action pass. So you just got to watch out for the deep shots and make sure you're real keen on your detail and your craft. Do they make you feel like you're running around more? A lot year? more. A lot more. <laughs> has, uh, has any of you guys uh, just woke up anybody on the offense yet? They just, like, woke up? Catch them on, you know, coming across the middle and <laughs> give them one? Uh... Actually, I hit my own teammate Jared one time. I didn't really mean to, but <laughs> but as far as practice, I try to keep it clean. I don't want to get nobody hurt, so I try to just stay up for most of the part. Is it different on Saturday when you go in the scrimmage, y'all? Oh yeah, it's different. Saturday scrimmage when they say it's time to hit somebody to the ground, it's time to, it's time to hit. So I'm ready for it. Any of those offensive guys been kind of like a big headache for you guys so far? Uh, I feel like they're all really doing a good job, especially the receivers of uh, getting open and knowing what to do and, and how to line up and things like that. But I feel like everybody on offense is doing a good job. Coach Collins was bragging.